Hey, Scott and Sarah here with Quest Capsule, coming to you today with a pretty interesting vlog and a pretty new discovery we never even knew was here in downtown Gatlinburg. It's a vintage pinball museum, and it's called the Pinball Museum and Arcade. It's right off of traffic light number eight, right next to the Space Needle. We've actually heard they have a, a pinball machine Sarah and I are mighty fond of, and it's gonna be from one of our favorite movies, Lord of the Rings. It's the Lord of the Rings pinball machine. And we're gonna go try to find it and play it today at the Pinball Museum and Arcade, right in downtown Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We're about to head that way right now. Wanted to invite you guys to come along, so let's head over, see what it's about, see if we can find Lord of the Rings, and see what other fun games and arcades we can find there. So come along with us on this episode of Quest Capsule. And like I said, it's right next to the Space Needle and another huge arcade room called Arcadia, which I believe Arcadia is found inside the foyer area of the Space Needle where you buy that ticket for that attraction. Give you a little vantage point here. Here's the Arcadia, the Space Needle, right up there, as you can see, is the Pinball Museum and Arcade. Of course, there's a sign for the Gatlinburg Arcade. I'm not sure if that's associated with this, but here in a second, you'll see the sign for the Pinball Museum. Let's head inside and see what we can find. Goal being Lord of the Rings. Hope we can find it. All right, so let's figure out how to uh, get some game tokens or however they do it nowadays to so we'll load up on the fun. Let's see what, what you have to do here. Purchase new card. Looks like you get 20 gold for five, 40 for 10, 100 gold for 20, 200 gold for 40. So I was wondering what the uh, Gatlinburg Arcade was about. So I guess it is affiliated with the Pinball Museum and Arcade, which makes sense. All right, let's see what we can find here, Sarah. Mission B in Lord of the Rings, remember that. We got the Spider-Man Pinball. Guardians of the Galaxy, Funhouse. Ooh, yeah, Star Wars. Ooh, look, it's Al Lewis, his grandpa, with the, with the monsters. It's the cool thing about a pinball machine. With digital, of course, you're creating everything with ones and zeros and animations. And in the pinball era, you had to be a little more artistic to craft what lives inside the play area. My daughter would like this one, huge Shrek fan. Shrek's got a pinball machine. Oh, there's Fiona. For the inner rocker in you, there's some Metallica. A master of puppets pinball machine. If Sarah's brother was here with us in Gatlinburg, this would definitely be the pinball machine he'd be playing, a huge Metallica fan. But a little history for you. In 1947, Gottlieb and Company made the first pinball machine, Humpty Dumpty, that had paddles. And it had a three pairs of paddles that would keep the pinball to the top of the uh, play area. And then after that, another game come on board called Triple Action. And it was actually the first pinball machine that had only two paddles in the bottom of the play area. And there's the uh, company that created the first pinball machine that had paddles, and that's the Gottlieb and Company. This is an old pinball machine. And that's definitely a vintage Hulk. Seems like the classic ones are always nice and boxy. You can see it like right there, just very squarish. My brother is an absolutely huge Iron Maiden fan. His all-time favorite band is here in it. Iron Maiden pinball machine, Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast. We've actually been to that tour. And there you can see Eddie conveniently located right next to Iron Maiden is Kiss. Looks like the pinball might go right into his mouth there. That's some pretty good placement if you ask me. And along this one you have Houdini, you have The Walking Dead. That's cool. You got some uh, Walking Dead figurines above this pinball machine. Got a little mystery with who done it. Rocky Balboa makes the lineup. Looks like a young Rocky right there. 
fighting Apollo. Primus makes the lineup. Tell you what, they didn't miss anything here. Even the Pat's Can Crusher made its way into the Pinball Museum and Arcade. This would probably be something Sarah would appreciate. The Beatles. And it is actually the Gold Edition Pinball. Just so many cool things inside a pinball machine. If you just take a minute and look inside, you see how sophisticated the gaming technology was. It wasn't about digital. It wasn't about, you know, animation and artwork. It's about how can you craft a machine that's interactive and allow people to engage with, with real, with something real in here. All right, have another aisle of pinball games here I haven't seen. Check this one out. Willy Wonka. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Attack from Mars, Getaway, Terminator Judgment 2. Hey, this guy's playing a game that I won a first place ribbon on many years ago playing Tron. This looks like another classic old one. Congo. Definitely got that vintage look as well. Old classic arcade game from the 80s, Space Invaders, with a wide, it's almost like a wide play area here, wider than a typical pinball machine. Lots of areas you can smack that pinball, get 50, 50 points here and there, really rack up the score, maybe even walk out with a high score. Still haven't ran into the Lord of the Rings yet. Aside from pinball machines, they've also got tons of interactive arcade games. Here is a Jurassic Park. It's like you sit in there and you can shoot away at the angry dinosaurs. And over here, what do they got? The Walking Dead. So you can fight zombies in The Walking Dead. You got your automatic bow and arrow here. And directly behind me is Halo, Fire Team Raven. But you get a big dual screen action here with four player action. You got a pretty massive uh, automatic weapon there to handle the enemy. And over here you've got this huge interactive Space Invaders game. Dual seats with your uh, blasters. You can play like a modern spin on Space Invaders win up to 500 tickets it says jackpot games claw prizes you can win tickets pick up a certain amount of tickets here looks like a roll of ticket coupons here not sure how many you have to have to get certain prizes but just claw your way to a prize not exactly sure what this is it looks like you're swimming with the sharks here. I guess you've got to avoid the great whites. There goes one right there. See an octopus. Treasure. You got a 4D game over here. Not exactly sure what this is, but it says anxiety, panic, terror, break through the cycle that never ends. It's just like a game you get inside a little 4d experience through this curtain right here looks like you let's take a little peek inside oh yeah it's a little world in there it actually looks like Jill from Tomb Raider maybe this is Tomb Raider All right, so Lord of the Rings has to be back in this back area. This is the only section we haven't traversed yet. Here's where you're gonna find in the back corner. That is an old game right there. Joust, which Pac-Man's Pixel Dash. I've never heard of that one. And Pac-Man Ticket Mania. I guess you can win some tickets, take on the prize. And a little find back here hidden and not in operation. Classic double Donkey Kong. And this one has been retired currently. That is one classic game right there. Oh yeah. The king finds his way into the pinball museum. Let's see what we see in here. TCB, you're taking care of business. And you can tell when you walk upon a, uh, a classic pinball machine, because look at that. Very boxy, 
Very retro. That's the way it all began right there, people. And a thousand points could be yours. And finally, parked right next to the Transformers is the one that we've searched for. And finally, we have found as we arrive at the game of all games that has brought us here to the Pinball Museum and Arcade in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And now we must take on the quest to play this game and once and for all destroy the Ring of Evil in the fires of Mount Doom. And it can be done here at the Lord of the Rings Pinball Machine game. We're gonna play it right now and see if we can take this ring out and restore Middle Earth to where it once was, where it needs to be, and where it needs to live forever. Let's play the pinball game, The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien's masterpiece, and it's here. Let's get into gameplay right now. Here I go. Gotta get the ball, gotta get the ring. Ah. <laughs> or, We gotta get this ring destroyed. It's an attack of Shelob. Oh, through the center. I'm not trying to harm you, I'm trying to help you. Feeling good about this one. This one's going straight to Mount Doom. Ah, oh, no, no good, no good. Oh, I saved that one. Ooh, two balls, two games. Oh, got multi ball gameplay here. Coming through, it's coming everywhere. We're under attack. Riders of Rohan. <laughs> Mount up. <laughs> oh, blocked by the Balrog. All right, so I didn't quite destroy the one ring, but I did get to have some fun playing the Lord of the Rings pinball machine here at the classic pinball museum and arcade found in downtown Gatlinburg. Just like Quest Capsule, you have found the capsule location that you can store all of the Quest Capsule vlogs on. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our time here at the Pinball Museum and Arcade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tagging along with us, playing video games, and finally getting a chance to experience the Lord of the Rings pinball machine. Didn't get a chance to destroy the one ring, but nonetheless, it was a whole lot of fun. If you like the video be sure to hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to our channel your support is much appreciated for now it's time to end this one out and put this quest in its capsule seal it away we'll see you guys soon on the next one this is awesome very cool